What do you want? What is this place? What's going on here? The Imperial Short Rule Sheep Fair. Have you got a sheep? Uh, no. Then bugger off before you get hurt. You're here again? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. That was easy. Now I'd better take... These tents look pretty impressive. Killing, fighting, These never fellows aren't losing, for robbing, sure. fucking boots and booze. Take the woman, No one is robbing, but we never get no fucking beer. Boring. Certainly are enough of them. I guess a good four or five dozen. I just want to eat and sleep and fuck. and stink everywhere. Should have stayed home. Hmm, the wall here isn't too high. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? 
Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. So hungry, I could eat my food. Don't watch your enemy. Are you Combat Master Vanyak? <laughs> Aye, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you. Most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. I've never seen you before in my life. Hmm, really? I'd stake my neck I know you from somewhere. Well, never mind. My memory isn't what it used to be. Too much drink. <laughs> or not enough. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. Is that all you've got? Damn. <laughs> Jesus, you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak has passed it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. If you get some, I'll do my best. Alright. I'm out of this shit. Thanks. We can do with something to get the blood up, like robbing a farm or a proper raid. They say something's brewing. Sir, may I... What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling me, young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. Ah. He's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. He told me, a foreigner, 
but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead! I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. <laughs> and I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you. And I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied at our camp. You must realise that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <sighs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine, and I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ugh. Have you never heard of Lord Sockle of Lamberg or Sir Henek, the Dry Devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brutally really works you over. Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Bishop, you fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, shh, quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of here alive. So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? 
I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. Look, it's true we didn't get off to a good start, but if you expect me to trust you, you'll have to trust me too. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. <laughs> a bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? Why don't you go on your own? What would I do? I've been left alone in this world, and I'm an outlaw. How long do you think it'll take before I'm swinging from a gibbet? I need to get some coin and get the hell out of here. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. All right then, let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right, I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck.
never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaw. Who are you? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Huh? I 
You heard what?
So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry. Father? <laughs> I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Bishek. I see. And who is he? Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and saved my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Spishek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. 
Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Henry, get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. I need to set off as soon as possible to give the Talmburgers the message, or they won't arrive in time to help us at Vranjik. Listen up, men. It's going to be a long night, and no easy pickings. I want every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. Get him! Heel! I've got you'll love this. Hey, lad!
Henry's come to see us. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father, from Sir Radzig and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanish have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sassau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hannes have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh... For Christ's sake. When? And how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. <sighs> Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. Miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least eighty. Huh. 
We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though, even if only by a few men. And our men are well armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. I shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Listen up now. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest, then we'll keep them busy by the gate, and when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear, and we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir! Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it, and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward! Archers! Fire!
the men and flush out anyone left around the tents. But they don't creep up on us from behind. You men, over there, go with them. The rest of you, warm up and go to the top gate. That Hungarian bastard. Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command. It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Toth? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. We have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Sir, this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? 
alongside hunting, drinking and sword play, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. Now, what does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! Uh, he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> if you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Talmberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. Never. What? We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, master! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Hiya! Hiya! Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house.
You rat! Come out and fight like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. Would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just as easily cut her throat! I have hostages enough. And strong walls to protect me. Bring him here! Radzig? What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Hmm. Actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Christ. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew. But I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rab my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife. And get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No. No. That is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage... 
It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. I'd better get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colours. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in plate armor. Yes, I'm ready to go. Goodbye. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. Uh, what if they're in their tower or, or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? And leave them there? Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. We'll go first, and take out the sentries. Wait here. What are they waiting for?
she coming now? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. Fuck this waiting, I'm gonna climb. Put on his armor and watch this side. But there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. P buffoon? Henry, then. Just make sure you keep quiet. We have to find the hostages, then we can come back and deal with the rest. Easy now! We're almost there. Let's not fuck it up at the eleventh hour. Here. All doors lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us. Patience. He has to move. Any time now. Jesus. Get a fucking move on that.
We're Sir Ratzik and Lady Stephanie. L Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's Sir Ratzik? I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Take care now. Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? Yes. We can't leave them in Toth's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we saved those other people. I suppose you're right. It would be foolhardy to go on. Well, I'm glad you've come to your senses. Let's get the hell out of here, then. Come on, then. Let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. Gorova! Fuck my ass! Oh, Henry! I'll have to carry him out of here Henry, right now. Henry, get me out of here! Stop telling everyone what an idiot you are! Jason! Run, 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 watch out! Sake, and don't shake me! No, no, no! Faster! This isn't very comfortable. Can't you stop hopping around with me? My horse is killing me. Faster! Quick! Two arms! Get over here! But Raise you don't get a move on. Watch out! He'll stab you in the back right under my nose! I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True. The shame of it. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. It's worse than if they'd killed us. Well, I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try. If we succeeded. If pigs had wings. I know it troubles you, but it's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastardish fan. It seems, Robard, that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. And we can't afford to lose any more. We can only take Talmburg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed, and we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. To demolish my own walls. <sighs> Where is Master Fafar? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon as... Bring him to me. Let's not waste time. Sir Divish. You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, uh, a <laughs> trebuchet, my lord? That's not uh, entirely in my field of expertise. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir. I understand and that. you but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Oh, well, thank you, my lord. But it's, it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's, this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Uh, I... Uh... Oh. Well, Master Tobias... You have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. Indeed. Of course, sir. Thank you, my lord. 
How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Mm. No, you don't. Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations in the encampments. Dudley, sir. Mm. Robard will brief you. That'll be all. What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Jivish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. How are you faring, Sir Raybard? How do you think I'm faring, lad? There's some cutthroat thug lolling about in my bed at the castle. Well, at least no one's raised Talmberg. Not so far. Though we may end up doing it ourselves to smoke the bastard out. I imagine Sir Divish isn't taking it too well. And why do you think he handed command over to me? But it pains my heart too. That place is my home. What's the easiest way to take back Talmberg? The easiest way? <laughs> Call in the Royal Army and leave it to them. But there's no Royal Army to help us now and we can't afford to wait. What's more, we don't want to destroy the castle. Personally, I'd like to return to it. Repairing the castle would be expensive. And time-consuming. No trebuchet is wholly on target. The missiles fly as they please. And if we blast the castle to pieces and Sigismund comes back, he'll make short work of us. Do you think Sigismund will come back? How do I know what's in his head? But if he doesn't take advantage of this chaos, someone else probably will. The whole country will know about it soon enough. I'd never have thought so many people were keeping an eye on Talmberg. Like that fellow Havel. Not only Talmberg, and we've left precious few men in retire. If we're defeated here, who's to stop them from pillaging the whole province? And there's no shortage of power-hungry bastards like Havel and Toth in Bohemia. Is there some way we can get through the gate? There are steps from the gate up to the walkway on the battlements, and I don't know how Istvan's covering them. Then there's the portcullis to get through. A big battering ram might breach it, but how could you get one that close? I reckon we'll have to set fire to it. Stuck up brushwood and light it? Brushwood, timber, anything that burns, soaked in as much pitch as possible. The local charcoal burners surely have some. And even if it doesn't burn the gate right down, it'll weaken it and make it easier to break through. Exactly. And what about the walls? Which side is the most vulnerable? The south and east are solid. It would be useless to try anything there. It's best defended from the north, and as for the west... From the west is where we tried it, and got royally fucked. 
if you recall. But I think in the end we'll try that way again, only this time we'll do it better. Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Toth is a wily fox. If he'd had all his men with him there, there would have been real carnage. It's likely we only won there because he'd already gone and taken most of his best soldiers with him. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. Is there anything you can tell me about Talmberg's weak points? The truth is, Talmberg has far too few weaknesses. Who'd have thought that was something I'd come to regret? Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Toth is a wily f Good luck, then. God grant you health. How may I help you? How are things with you? I thank the Lord. I'm still alive and well. So do I. Others haven't been so fortunate. Goodbye. God bless you. What troubles you? Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. I, a mining engineer. What do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually, there is a way you could help. Conroy Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. He even took part in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. You're still an engineer, though. Couldn't you build it yourself? Are you serious? Do you know how complicated such a machine is? What forces are at work in the contraption? If we were lucky, it wouldn't fire at all. Far more likely it would smash itself to smithereens and kill lots of us instead of the enemy. He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarrelled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Betlan Castle. Banished? Like a common criminal? He was a member of the court and a doctor and a master engineer, so nothing quite that bad befell him. I've even heard he has a whole host of wise men with him and they're writing some book together. What's he doing here in Sassau? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. And how am I supposed to get him here? Abduct him? Well, only if all else fails. We need his cooperation. Try having a word with him. By all accounts, he hates Sigismund. All right, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. Take care. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Good day. Take care.
I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone, and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods, either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refresh me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. May the Lord watch over you. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? How are you, my lord? How do you think? That slimy toad has my blood boiling. If I get my hands on him, I'll rip his black heart out. Only I've been handed the job of guarding the western route, at the quarry. But there's not a damn thing happening there. Well, at least you're out of archery range of the castle. True, but it's not much consolation. If the men don't get something to do soon, I'll have to put them to work in the quarry. Idle hands are the devil's tools. How do you think the siege will go, sir? Better than it has done so far, I hope. First, we lost your lord and father, and then our nighttime assault failed. I'm sorry we didn't succeed. It would all have been over by now. But at least we got out alive. If the two of you had been left behind, Istvan would have had another pair of hostages. Oh, let's pray our fortunes improve. But I'm a bit worried about that trebuchet. I don't have much experience with engines of war. Even if we do drive Toth out, there might not be much left of the castle after we've done it. Sir Hanush, do you think Sir Radzig is all right? Oh, don't worry. He's more used to Toth alive, so he's in no danger for now. For now? Radzig's a man who knows how to take care of himself. I'm more concerned about Lady Stephanie. It would be dreadful if anything happened to her. It was a pleasure to talk to you, Sir Hanush. Likewise, Henry. Take care now. God be with you. How are the men holding up? They're a rabble. The out-of-towners are desperate to go home. And the locals have got nowhere else to go. So they're just generally complaining. Are they causing trouble? No trouble as such. It's true I've caught a few of them asleep on their watch. There's nothing a couple of lashes of the whip can't cure. 
Well, there might be a simpler solution. Whipping a man, simple enough. Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. And when they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. But Christ knows they could do with something to flush the booze out of them and keep their eyes open. How goes it, Sir Bernard? How goes it? We're sitting here under the castle, and all day long there's folks hewing stones. My ears are ringing as if I'd been struck on the head, which is just how I feel. I felt that way too since the night of the attack. That went horribly wrong. And even so, we were lucky. Could have gone much worse. Goodbye. Look what I've got for you. will love this. Well, if it isn't the world-renowned victor of the Rati Tawny, Henry of Scalitz. Are you wishing you'd stayed home at Rati instead of joining in our nighttime venture? <laughs> you must be joking. I haven't had so much fun since... Uh, actually ever. <laughs> really? Despite being wounded? Actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements dead to the world. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Oh, all right, then. Next time, I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? Still, thank you for hauling me out of there. Anything for you, my lord. Goodbye. Greetings. What business have you? How do you feel, Sir Divish? How's the shoulder? I felt better, boy. Ugh. I feel awful, truth be told. And my shoulder's paining me. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. With flesh can be healed, perhaps. But the spirit... Henry, can you do something for me? What is it you need, sir? I need a priest as well as a physician. The closest was in Rovna. But I don't know what happened to him. And then there's the one from Ujits. What's his name? Godwin. But why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially with the help of one of the monks. It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning, and dead men. And I have to confess my sins. God be with you. Yeah.
God watch over you, good knight, especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? The troops are falling asleep on guard duty. Do you have anything to help? There's a recipe I know. I could brew up enough for two or three men with what I have here. No, I need enough for a whole bloody encampment. Actually, for three camps. That much? It would take me a week just to pick the herbs for it. Unless you were to do a bit of the legwork yourself. Seems only reasonable, since I'm the one who wants it. What do you need? Hmm, one handful of valerian and two of mint, but make sure it's fresh. And a little wormwood wouldn't hurt. I was at the Ujit's women's Sabbath. And how did it turn out? The women were making such a ruckus, the woodcutters took them for witches and burst in on them. They meant to kill them. Jesus Christ. And how did it end? I killed them all. Killed them? God almighty! You killed the men who went to see what all the noise was about? I didn't have much of a choice. There was no talking with them. They were determined to kill the witches. I'm so sorry. Holy Mother of God, you're my witness. I meant no harm. Forgive my sins and have mercy on me in my final hour. And as for you... You'd better go. Goodbye. Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right. Now, God. Would you teach? Certainly. I'm interested in. Now, good luck. Very well. So what goes into the brew? At least two hands. All right. Would you teach... Sir? I'd like to hope... First you have... Well. Take care. Good luck, Ben. I am honoured that you should come to me. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Tarnberg. To Tarnberg? Why? Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm running low on beer and I've no kegs left. Ask again later, or go ask elsewhere.
Good day. There's something I need from you, Father Godwin. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmberg, and no one to make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. Has someone requested my services? Sir Divish himself. Well, 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 Sir Divish sends for me, and you're doing the asking, young Hal. How can I refuse? I'll go there right away. Take care. Yeah! Greetings. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could, but there's nothing in it for me. Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Talmberg, told Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Valdeck was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Nobody's come collecting since. Well, right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm, when you put it like that, I have got a few kegs I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd always spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drinking up long before it has time to go off. And what's more, what with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shits came courtesy of the beer. I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some goodwill out of this at least? What do you think about Talmberg being attacked? What do I think? That as long as decent people can live in peace, and I can talk my way out of paying taxes, I don't care who my lead lord is. <laughs> well, this new lord never forgets a man who fails to pay him a single groschen, and the poor probably go straight to the gallows for it. That's terrible news, especially for us. I hope you'll drive him out of here so fast he'll shit himself. Or hang him from the tallest timber tree. People usually shit themselves when that happens, too. All to the good. A nice bit of manure and everything blossoms.
I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it, and if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free, or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. Goodbye. Greetings. Good day. God grant. God be with you.
say. I'm. And what is it? Yep. I'm sure. I'm interested. So what? I'd like. I'm sure you'll be. Yeah. Hey, lad, don't you want a little wager on the Rattay tourney? God be with you, Henry. Congratulations on your victory in the tournament. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. That was quite a long way. So, are you going to tell me why we came here? Here? Here's where my brother is. Oh. I didn't realise. Sorry. I wanted to come back here, but I was afraid to come alone. Oh, very wise. It's still not safe in these parts. Sometimes I think it was my fault. If only I'd done more for him, he might still be alive. If we'd left the mine during the night with Matthew and the others, maybe it would all have ended differently. Well, maybe, but I doubt it. You said yourself that Samuel wouldn't have managed the journey. You did everything you could for him. And if you'd left during the night, you wouldn't have saved my life. I know. It's just so hard sometimes. I know I did everything, but it wasn't enough. How could God let it happen? I'd say God had nothing to do with what happened to Scalitz. You're not to blame for anything. It's the war and all the futility and suffering around it that's to blame. Henry, I'll never forget Samuel and Stebor and Papa, and I'll never be able to accept the injustice of it all. But I still have you. I love you, Teresa. I know. Thanks for walking with me, Henry. And for everything else, I couldn't manage without you. Time passes so quickly with you, Henry. Come and see me again sometime. Yeah.
Oh, leave me. I want to sleep. Huh? Oh, clear off. Let me sleep. That's him. Where you are. Oh, shit. Sir. That's brutal. Well, you won't. Damn it. All right. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. What's going on? The charcoal burners nearby have some stocks of pitch they'll let us have. That's handy. Sir Rubard will be pleased. What little we had left was running out and he was getting worried. Well, he can stop worrying. Good. I'll get someone to take care of it. I've arranged some beer for you from the local tavern. You're a proper treasure, you are. I'm going to put a word in about how well you look after us. Like your own kith and kin. Sure. Farewell. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. That's the lot. Great. If we're really going to have to storm the walls, then at least it should be with full bellies. Oh, and here's something for your trouble. Been a pleasure.
Look what I've got. You'll love this. Yeah. Yeah. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? And what do you want from the old buzzard? Never mind. What do I care? It's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. Would you teach me, sir? I'd like to hone my... First, you have... Well. I've come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Tongberg. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Good luck, then. Yeah! Henry. Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? Is there something you need? Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? God save you. Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world-renowned Conrad Kieser. World-renowned? If not yet, then soon. Our Master Kieser is a mastermind. You wouldn't believe the things he comes up with. You'll be hearing more of him. You mark my words. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for. Tobias Fayfire has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the Siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. Go in. Well, I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. Take care. Enter. 
Huh? By the horn of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Betlern Castle. They locked you up in Betlern? <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my home devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons thanks to all this unrest. And why are you here in Sasa? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum. My legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world would be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. I don't want to play tricks. I'll try to think of another way. You 
really can't come with me right away. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment. And I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was added then when hmm. And why are you here in Sassar? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but I... What do you... Carol? That's a... <laughs> How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. Hey. Yeah. God watch over. God I've gathered up all we need. Excellent. This will probably do the trick. And do you have the wormwood? Here it is. Fine, fine. I'll get started. It's going to take a while. God bless.
God's blessings. What can I do for you? I need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. But the conquest of Talmberg is more important for the province. From what I hear, it's awfully important first and foremost for your lord. Sassau's always been neutral. Anyway, I take my orders directly from the abbot. Conrad would only have to leave for a few days. Surely you can manage without him for a short while. We might, if he didn't get himself killed there. I've given my answer. No, he stays here until the abbot says otherwise, and the abbot isn't here at the moment. Supposing I compensated you for his brief absence, perhaps with some coin? What use would coin be to me if the monastery roof collapses? Then I'd be the one having to pay compensation. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. You're welcome. May God reward you in kind. I hear you like to play dice. I'd like to play the Always. Your fame precedes you. You won't get the better of me. Curses! Why did I even start this game? Holy hat! I'm like a bear. Ah, here. Pour me one. That's it. Hmm. Dent. Shit. Are you sure you won't release Conrad? He won't be gone long. Not a chance. Hmm. Well, anyway, I've heard it said there's not enough money to finish the construction. So, I thought as a lover of architecture, I might contribute. How the hell do you know that? That's neither here nor there. The important thing is to let me help you. How much will you give, damn you? Very well then. My Kiza can go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Good luck then. I'll be with you, Henry. What am I to do? What the hell am I to do? They're after me! Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come! What? Who is... Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door! Not now! 
please calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to it. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come.
Anyway, how are you? Do you know anything about our master Paycar? That nobleman that showed up recently. They say he's staying at the local inn. Goodbye. Yeah! I hope I can be of help to you now. Would there be a master pay car here by any chance? But of course. What's your business with him? Why's he come here? Why so inquisitive? Coming. My master's thinking about a trade he proposed. So I'm asking around to see if he can be trusted. He's a decent man. He pays his debts and he's okay. certainly no cheapskate. Like they say he trades in cloth. What does he look like? Oh, he's easy to spot. If I had clothes like his, I'd sell them and live happier on the takings. What kind of man is he? People like him well enough. And as for me, well, half my profits are his doing. Thank you. God be with you. Bring me something to eat.
Oh, shit. Sod off. Halt! What are you doing here? Quiet, for God's sake. You'll wake the whole monastery. Silence! For God's sake, I caught you in the middle of an assassination attempt. Assassination? What are you on about? Are you Lord Pekar, the one who was on the crusade? Well, yes. How do you know that? Because you've come to assassinate Comrade Kieser. Kieser? He's living here in the monastery? Well, yes. Right here in this house. What's your business here? It's all a terrible mistake. I have a long-standing arrangement with a custodian here, Sir Sebastian von Berg. I supply him with salt and spices. And I come to realise how he's been cheating me repeatedly. The dispute's been running for a while and still has legs. So I wanted my money back, that's all. I've no quarrel with Conrad. I don't believe a word you say. I, well... Sorry, but I'm telling the truth. I suppose there's nothing to be done about it, unless you intend to skewer me on the spot. But if it will help you sleep better, I'll stop creeping around here at night and find some other way to deal with the custodian. May the Lord watch over you.
Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? He's dead. He was an assassin, all right. Lord have mercy. Was it Pekar? It was. He made excuses about a conflict with Sir Sebastian, but it was clear what he meant to do. So they are after me. I knew it. Sweet Jesus, there'll be more. I need to hide away somewhere. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. Yeah. A well-chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. Sir Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Rocketta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Rocketta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Rocketta? Our missiles, filled with black powder, with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. But I am very fond of Rocketta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. I understand. 
we find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. God preserve you, good knight. Can I do something for you? So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> Good day. This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? It stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent too. A drop in the evening, and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job, that it doesn't give them a runs in the process. Hopefully not. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? True enough. But you're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. I'd be with you. Oh. 